Hey guys and welcome back to this month's monthly free assets for the Unreal Engine Marketplace. Once again we've got 5 amazing free assets and this time around we've got the Assets Cleaner, the Project Cleaning Tool, the Character Appearance and Dissolve, the Modular Industrial Area, the ArcViz Interactive UI and Tools and the Cloudscape Seasons. So this time they've kind of gone more towards tools rather than general assets which I think is quite a nice feature to have in this month's assets. So without further ado let's get right into it covering these different assets. First up we've got the Assets Cleaner Project Cleaning Tool. And the Assets Cleaner will automatically find and list unused assets inside of a project and allow direct operation from the tool, i.e. moving, deleting, renaming, organizing, all that great stuff. And it's just a nice and simple way to keep your projects and the build size small and avoid wasting time migrating assets to clean the projects up. So this is quite a big problem a lot of people have is their project size ends up being massive when they come to package it and share it around with friends and all that stuff. So this is a nice way to easily find all the stuff that you can safely delete and then do so. It allows you to scan and list unused assets, see the assets disk size and easily browse the list with filters i.e. the name, the type, the folder and the columns also sorting with the name, type, folder and size. You can also manage assets directly from the tool. This includes finding the asset in the content browser, finding it on the disk so i.e. on your computer editing the assets, deleting the assets using the safe in-engine deletion tool already. You can move the assets, you can view the selected assets in the reference viewer graph to have a nice graph view of all references and dependencies, and you can view the selected assets in the size map to have a visual representation of the disk space usage in the selected assets. So you can see what is taking up the most amount of space, so what would be most efficient to get rid of. It includes six blueprints and five C++ classes, and it is not network replicated, but obviously you wouldn't really need to use that. There is one note as well, is that it is notorious for being slow when trying to delete a lot of assets at once, as it will load them first before deleting it. However, that is just a common thing in Unreal anyway. You'll notice if you do try to delete a load of things or do anything at once, it will lag, as the way Unreal makes sure to do it safely is to load all of the references to it so it knows whether or not it can be deleted safely without messing up the rest of your project. And next up, we've got the Character Appearance and Dissolve. This includes 20 Appearance Dissolve effects. So it has 20 effects, 21 textures, 80 materials and 40 material functions. There's not really a lot described on the actual marketplace page itself, however the video does show it off quite well. You can see all these different effects which are for appearing and dissolving. Quite a basic thing but they do look really good and definitely give off a great effect which you can use in any sort of game really, especially maybe this could be good if an enemy dies they will dissolve like this instead of just suddenly despawning or anything along those lines really. I think this looks great. Next up is the modular industrial area. So this is a complete and high quality industrial pack with modular buildings and a hangar with interiors as well. So it includes complete exterior plus interior scenes, modular building plus hangar, and openable doors, boxes, gates, containers, and etc. All the good stuff you'd expect to find in an industrial area. The texture sizes are 1K and 4K, and it does have automatically generated collision with LODs as well. There's 110 meshes total and 56 material and material instances alongside 179 different textures. And again, because this is modular, you can really get in depth to how you want this to look. So everybody is gonna have the same assets, but every single person's finished scene will look completely different as it's up to you of how it's gonna look. It's modular, it's kind of like Lego pieces which you put together. Again, I think this one looks absolutely amazing. And next up, we've got the ArcViz Interactive UI and Tools. This is a flexible user interface for architectural visualization projects. So as you can tell, this is ArcViz, architectural visualization. This isn't really meant for games specifically. It is more for real world uses, i.e. architecture. So if that's more what you're interested in over games, this is perfect for you. It is a highly customizable user interface and toolkit for architectural visualization or similar projects. Colors, icon, or text font can be changed and features can be turned on or off when needed. It allows multiple control types including mouse only controls. Two different example apartments are provided with a travel feature to jump between them. There's an interactive floor plan for each level, individual object or material swaps, design schemes, swap actors can trigger other swap actors, i.e. the parent child, pre-rendered scenarios for layout or lighting changes, making it really efficient. You can travel between multiple scenes, customize the UI, i.e. the colors, the icons, the font style, icon order, all that good stuff. 
It does also have a VR style interface and target click movement available, which again is really important for this kind of topic of architecture because a lot of people really like to go into VR to get a proper feel of how it's going to look. It also has multiple user management, i.e. client name, save games, screenshots in the inventory list, and much, much more. The texture size is 2K max and it does have collision with over 210 meshes and over 240 materials. This is also only supported on PC, which again, that's where you're really going to be doing architecture. And last but not least, we've got Cloudscape Seasons. This is a volumetric cloud system with procedural generation and artistic controls. So this is a really nice one for getting a nice customizable sky and clouds for everything you would want inside of your game. So again, this is a volumetric cloud system with procedural generation using ray marching and with artistic controls on the shapes and fine details of the clouds. You can set up to three different layers of clouds, each one with a different cloud type and wind strength and speed. You can customize shadowing and colors as fixed parameters or driven by curves. So again, this is very similar to what we have by default in Unreal on the Skysphere BP, but this is just a lot more detailed and easier to use as well. So again, it includes ray-marched volumetric clouds, i.e. stuff which you can fly into, self-shadowing and shadow projection onto the environment, turbulence on the edges, procedural generation textures of coverage of 2K or 4K, artistic freedom to set the colors in different shapes for clouds and places they won't show up, day and night cycles with both the sun and moon, there's no C++ code, so it's all in blueprints and materials. And it does also have multiplayer replication enabled on it already. There are 9 blueprints, 21 materials, 11 material functions, 13 textures, 2 meshes, and 5 demo maps for you to look around and really see how this works as well. So I think, again, this one looks absolutely amazing for anything you really want to do to really customize and get more artistic with the clouds. And again, as the title suggests, different seasons so you can really just customize it to get it perfect for you but that is going to be it for this month's monthly free assets of november 2021 on the unreal engine marketplace i think this time around my favorite one is probably either the cloudscape seasons or the character appearance and dissolve as again they're both on surface quite basic but when you really get into it they are really nice to look at and again the cloudscape especially there's a lot more fine details which you can really change in there let me know in the comments down below which one your favorite one is for this month. And thanks so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy and find this video helpful of me just going over the free assets for this month and just giving you a brief overview of them to see what you want to get and how to use them and what they all are. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.